We have learned some new information to share with you on this vicious attack on a 12-year-old girl who say she was raped in the back seat of a livery cab. That driver arrested and is now set to face a judge today. News Force Miles Miller live outside of the courthouse with the details on this troubling case. Miles. That's right. Such a uh, troubling and tricky case that the paperwork's still not in here at Brooklyn Criminal Court. We've been awaiting the arraignment of that cab driver since this morning. It was, of course, just last night when a police did arrest Rafael Martinez at the child abuse squad here in Brooklyn. He's accused of picking up a 12 year old in Bedford Stuyvesant on Monday, and officials say her parents ordered that cab to bring her home to Fort Greene. But that 20 minute cab ride turned into a two hour ordeal. Police say he made not one, but two stops en route to the girl's home and allegedly raped her twice. As soon as she got home, she told her mother what happened, and staff at Woodhull Hospital called police to report what happened. Now, detectives were able to get the GPS tracking for the cab, which confirmed the long trip with stops, and within hours, that driver was in handcuffs and charged. Community activists are calling on the livery company to do background checks on drivers to prevent something like this from happening again. There's a serious concern with regards to what took place here, and we need this investigation to be thorough. It's alleged. We don't know if it happened or not, but all the signals are saying that something took place, and this young lady should have not been made prevalent to that stupidity if, in fact, that this was a rape. If that is the case, then this individual should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Martinez has one prior arrest. That's for patronizing a prostitute. He is currently awaiting arraignment tonight. Uh, that is scheduled for later on right here at Criminal Court in downtown Brooklyn. That's where we're live. I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York.